Okay, hello. Hello again. So this is part 2 of uh, the conservation of uh, energy video uh, about uh, review problems. So this time we will solve problems in the metric system. Okay, so problem number 1. So let me go ahead and first copy this. So we have two problems actually. Paste it here. Okay, so first so, naging ano lang naman to class? Naging metric lang. So, don't worry too much. Okay. Uh, when solving problems like this, again, uh, you can simply go to the uh, steady flow uh, equation, no? And then, input yung mga given doon. So, first, uh, a thermodynamic steady flow system receives 4.56 kilograms per minute. So, that one, kilograms per minute, that is your mass flow rate. So, 4.56 kilograms per minute where p1 is equal to 137.90 kilopascals okay v1 or the specific volume is equal to 0 0.0388 cubic meter per kilogram v sub 1 so we have velocity so therefore later on we will consider uh, kinetic energy 122 meters per second and the specific internal energy is 17.16 kilojoule per kilogram the fluid leaves the system at the boundary where p sub 2 is equal to so let me go ahead and uh, just change the color for our uh, given for section 2 551.6 kilopascals uh, our specific volume is 0 0.193 cubic meter per kilogram and then velocity sub 2 so again we have kinetic energy sub 2 183 meters per second and we have specific internal energy sub 2 is 52.8 kilojoule per kilogram okay so during the passage of the system the uh, Fluid receives 3,000 joules uh, per second of heat. So the key term here, class, the key term is receive. So when your system or your uh, working substance receives heat, so therefore heat is positive. Okay? Heat is positive. So 3,000 joules. So let me just convert that to 3 kilojoule okay, per second. So determine the work in kilojoule per minute. Okay? So that is important, a kilojoule per minute. So what is our formula for work? So let us write work first. It is equal to Q minus delta K minus delta P minus delta U minus delta WF. Okay? So the only term here that we will not consider is our potential energy. Okay? So first, let us solve for the change in kinetic energy so k sub 2 minus k sub 1 so we have the uh, speed this is equal to 122 meters per second so the formula first formula is equal to so here you notice no the energy terms are per kilogram so we don't have the mass okay the mass of the uh, system Okay, that's important to take note. So K sub 2 would be equal to, so we just neglect mass first, but we are, we have the mass flow rate. Okay, so let us uh, have the formula now. V sub 2 squared over 2K minus V sub 1 squared over 2K. Okay, so V sub 2, we have 183 meters per second. We square that and divide it by 2K. So K is simply 1. But 1 kilogram mass newton or meter, sorry. Kilogram mass meter per newton second square. So let us examine again the units here. No? So we have meter square over second square. And then we have kilogram mass meter over newton second square. So of course... Second square will cancel out. 
meter will also cancel out. And we have Newton meter, Newton meter per kilogram mass. Now, Newton meter, Newton meter is joule. Okay? So, you want to get uh, the unit in kilojoule. So, therefore, let me go ahead and erase this. So, we can multiply. So, to convert, convert uh, joules to kilojoule, we have 1000 joule is 1 kilojoule. Okay? So, again, seconds cancels out. Uh, meter will also cancels out, cancel out. And the final unit is in Newton meter. So, Newton meter is also joule. So, the final unit here is kilojoule per kilogram mass. Okay? So, we will also do that with our V sub 2. So, or our V sub 1. So, V sub 1 or the velocity is 122 meters per second. So, let's uh, go ahead and square that over 2. And then, we multiply 1000. Okay? To convert. So, delta K will now be, we can factor out uh, 1 over 2 times 1000. Okay? And then, inside is... 183 squared minus 122 squared. Okay? So, get our calculator. One. So, we have 183 squared. Okay? 183 squared. Yeah. Minus 122 squared. And then, divide by 2,000. So, the answer is equal to, let me check that again. Seems, uh, seems incorrect. 183 squared minus 122 squared. Okay, 18,000. So, let's uh, divide that by 2,000. Yeah, 9.3. 9.30 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay? And then, so we now have our delta K. Delta U. So, delta U is simply U sub 2 minus U sub 1. So, 52.80. So, delta U is equal to U sub 2 minus U sub 1. So, 52.80 minus 17.16. Uh, okay. So, that is equal to minus 17.16. 35.64. Okay. Then, we have the change in workflow. So, workflow 2 minus workflow 1 or T2V2 minus T1V1. Okay. So, P sub 2 is equal to uh, 551. Uh, let me check. 551 kilopascals. Five 551.6. Now, kilopascal is kilonewton per square meter. Okay, times the uh, specific volume, 0 0.193 cubic meter per kilogram mass. So, we can uh, cancel meter there, meter square. And we have kilonewton meter per kilogram mass. Now, kilonewton meter is already kilojoules. Okay. So, we subtract P1, V1, and P1 is 137.9 multiplied by 0 0.37.9, 0 0.0388. Okay, and we will uh, have here as well kilojoule per kilogram. So, let's get our calculator. 551.6 times 0.193 then subtract 
137.9 times 0 0.0388. And the answer is 101.11. Okay. So, we are now done with the uh, solving of the terms here. Delta K, Delta U, and Delta WF. So, let's substitute. Q is equal to 3 kilojoules per second. Okay, positive. 3 kilojoules per second. But all the terms are in... All the terms are in kilogra kilojoule per kilogram. No? So we multiply first the mass flow rate. And the mass flow rate is equal to 4.56 kilograms per minute. So what we'll actually do there is multiply 1 over 4.56. Okay? So this will be minutes per kilogram because we did the reciprocal. So then... Uh, Convert 60 seconds to 1 minute para ma-cancel. Let's check. Huh? So seconds here cancels out, minute cancels out. Okay. And what we now have is kilojoule per kilogram, which is the same for all the units. Okay. So And then we subtract minus, so that is your heat, minus Delta K, Delta U, minus Delta WF. So, Delta K is 9.30 minus 9.30 kilojoule per kilogram minus Delta U, 35.64 kilojoule per kilogram. Then minus WF. I'll just write it here, huh? 101.11 kilojoule per kilogram. <clears throat> then we get our calculator. So here we have 3. 3 times 60 divided by 4.56. So that is 39.47. Minus 9.3 minus 35.64 minus 101.11. And the answer is 106.58. So work. Negative 106.58 kilojoule per kilogram. So therefore, negative, it means to say that work is done on the system. Okay, so if that is us, okay, determine if work is done by the system or uh, on the system. So we say that work is done. This is work done on the system. Okay, so we want to solve for the kilojoule per minute, work in kilojoules per minute. So we multiply again 4.56 with our final answer. So multiply 4.56 kilograms per minute. So, kilogram cancels out and we now have kilojoules per minute. So, from our answer kanina, multiply 4.56 and we will arrive at 485.99 kilojoule per minute. So, usually ginagawa na to class na ano, 486 pag mga ganyan. Alright? So, that is the work. Okay, so I hope that is clear. So, we now go to problem number two. Okay, problem number two. This is our last problem for the metric system. <clears throat> Steam enters a turbine uh, stage with an enthalpy of... 3,000, so again, enthalpy, similar to the problem that we have solved for uh, the English system. So, enters, so that, therefore, that is H sub 1, 3,628 kilojoule per kilogram. Then, we have the velocity, which is 
70 meters per second. And then we have H sub 2 leaves with an enthalpy of 2846 kilojoule per kilogram and with a velocity of 124 meters per second. No heat is transferred, so therefore Q is 0. What is the work done by the system? Work done by the system. So we are expecting a positive answer. Right? So work. So we know that uh, it's equal to negative delta P minus delta K. Minus in this case, we have delta H plus Q. Okay? So Q is 0. Delta P is neglected because uh, position is not given. Okay? So delta K. Let's first solve for delta K. Delta K is equal to K sub 2 minus K sub 1. And that is equal to 124 meters per second over 2. So I have already uh, shown you a while ago, okay, that this will ultimately be joule per second. So you need to multiply a conversion factor here, 1000, so that uh, it would be in kilojoules. So minus k sub 1, 70 squared over 2 times 1000. Okay? 1000. So to simplify, this would simply be 1 over 2,000 times 124 squared minus 70 squared. And delta K would be equal to, so we have 124 squared minus 70 squared. Then divide that equals and divide it by 2,000. So 5.24. 5.24 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay? So work, since we are already given the delta H, no? work is equal to minus 5.24 kilojoule per kilogram and then minus H sub 2 minus H sub 1 and H sub 2 is 2846 2846 minus 3628. Okay. So, this 2 will be negative, but the negative here will make it positive. So, go ahead and get our calculator. We have 2846 minus, or let's just, you know, let's just uh, make it 3628 minus 2846. 3628 minus 2846 equals, and then subtract 5.24. So 776.76 kilojoule per kilogram. And then what do we need to do in order to obtain the... Uh, the work done by the system in so essentially hindi naman nilagay dito class kung ano hindi naman pala nilagay kung uh, di, hindi naman nilagay kung to compute pa natin in kilojoules per minute and wala rin naman given na ano wala rin naman given na tawag dito wala rin naman given na na mass flow rate so this is the answer 776 kilojoules per kilogram Okay, so I hope you have uh, learned something from uh, this series regarding conservation of energy and the sample problems. So again, just uh, write first the steady flow energy equation and then solve each term. No, as I as you have seen, kumare siyono solve kumo na yung delta k and then delta h, isa isa and then I go back to the uh, main equation and substitute those. So thank you for watching. And I hope you have uh, learned something and enjoyed the video.